So the filter effect in this particular image owes a lot of its success to making the image the right size to start with so we can actually create a filter effect and a texture that we know is going to appear just as we see it on the paper. We did some work in advance of the filter to get the image prepared, the groundwork done so to speak, and it's only the final act really where we apply the filter, but instead of just applying a filter and living with those settings, we've blended the filter with an unfiltered version, which gives us the opportunity to temper any effect a filter gives us. Now before I go any further, I really do need to make sure I save this, because this is the image that I'm going to place on the website, so I'll reduce this to a JPEG and I'll save this at level 6 and you'll find this image on the website a little bit later on and you can click open it up into your browser right click and save it to your hard drive then you can open it up into your version of Photoshop or Elements and you can view the image just as I am here now just before I close here's another very simple filter effect I've just taken us back to our original image remember the one we saved as a Photoshop file with the colored pencil well I've just turned that off and selected our background original and I'm looking at this at print size I'm gonna to go to filter and this is a Photoshop filter noise reduce noise rather large palette appears again what we're going to do here is look at this I'm going to make this slightly smaller because as you can see it's slightly bigger than we can see it in the main body of Photoshop that looks a bit more representative of what we've got I'm going to bring the, the preserve details down to zero the reduce color noise down to zero and I'm going to push the strength up to its maximum and what we're actually doing here is we're simplifying the image if I tick the preview I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the effect of that on your version of this little video so I'm going to click OK to create the change into Photoshop but once we've done that what we can also do sometimes is apply the same filter effect over the top of this one in other words double up the effect if I go to filter the reduced noise will be sitting at the top of the stack which it always does remembers the last filter so I'm going to apply it quickly again and as you can see the reduced noise filter is being applied over the top of the reduced noise filter the number of times you do this is going to depend really on the resolution of the image you start with an option you do have is to sharpen the image a little bit sometimes I quite often find this helps a bit a little bit of unsharp mask not too much let's go to 0 0.3 it's having a little bit of effect on the windows but it's not a terrific effect but what usually finishes it this off is the same sort of thing as the previous one we looked at and that is a texture so let's go to our texture filters texturizer here I think we'll standardize on sandstone we've got a scaling let's make the scaling about 118 you can see the effect here a relief of about three and what we end up here is another great image that when printed onto matte paper and when you view it at the size it's going to print it's a great and simple filter effect it just simplifies the image and for scenes like this it works a treat now anytime you want to weaken the image a little bit here's another tip double click the background layer and create a new blank layer drag it beneath the image and flood that with white control backspace will do that I can then simply select the layer we've just filtered and I can drop the opacity of that layer if I do that using the opacity controls here you can see how I can make that slightly weaker and slightly more watercolor in appearance and if we then place that edge effect around the outer edge we've got another quick and simple filter effect that works a treat now another way you can really appreciate the charm of the filter effect we've just demonstrated the alien skin filter effect if you visit our website at www beckhamdigital.co.uk go to slideshows and demos and choose page 3 
Right at the top of the page you'll find a slideshow which is called The Art of Cornwall. Download the version that's right for your monitor, either 1024768 pixels or 1280-1024 and you'll see a slideshow of the effects we created using the pictures we shot at St Ives. And if you want to try something else, the second filter effect I demonstrated very briefly at the end, that's been used in this slideshow here. So you've got two options, you can download the image and view the image we created in Photoshop but you also have two very creative slideshows where I think the filter effect that we've used adds 70% of the charm of the show and the images.